Hi there, and welcome to the StayLinked iOS demo video. My name is Jeremy. I'm part of the technical team here at StayLinked. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to download the StayLinked app from the App Store onto your iPhone or iPad, how to get it configured so it works the way that you want, and how to establish your first connection with the StayLink server. The first step you're going to need to take is to go to the App Store on your iOS device. I'll demonstrate it here on my iPhone. Once you're there, go to the search option and type in STAY hyphen LINKED. Now you can either tap search in the bottom right corner or simply tap on one of the smart search selections you see below. Our app is completely free. So you won't have to buy anything. Simply tap the Install button and allow it to install our app onto your device. Now that our app is downloaded onto your device, go ahead and tap on it to open it up. The first message that you're presented with is a generic message explaining how to use our app. Go ahead and read that and tap OK. We're going to go over how to configure the device. So tap Host, Configure, and the first message that you see is our default password. In this case, it's iOS. Hit OK, Host, Configure again, and type in the default password, iOS, and tap OK. Now you're presented with three options, Server, Display, and Miscellaneous. We'll start at the top. The first thing we're going to review is the server component. When you tap server, you're brought to a menu that allows you to configure four different things. Let's touch on the server IP. Right now it's set to a default demo server called iOS client. When you hit connect the first time, this is the server it connects you to. However, you can change this to the StayLink server that you already have, if you have one. The server port is set to 3006. This is usually okay. But go ahead and check with your network administrator to see if there are any security options that you need to take account of. The device ID at the bottom allows you to configure a very specific device ID when you establish your connection. I'll leave that off for now. Now the max connections that you see allows you to establish more than one connection to a single server using a single device. If you hit the plus button, it allows you to go up to 10 configurable connections. Now each one needs to be configured with a connection name, a server IP or DNS name, a server port, a device ID, and the fixed rows and columns that you want displayed for that connection. We'll go over that later. For now, let me just set that back to a single connection for clarity's sake. Once that's configured to your liking, simply tap Done. Now let's go over the display option. When you pull it up, you're given three things that you can configure. Use bold font, fixed rows, and fixed columns. We have the bold font set to on by default. This usually just increases the readability of the characters you see displayed in a session. The fixed rows are the top to bottom count of rows that you see displayed in your session screen, and the fixed columns are the left to right count of the columns that you see. Now I've got this set to display 20 rows by 35 columns, and that's a pretty good default for an iPhone screen. But if you're using an iPad, you can set it to much larger. If you've got it configured the way you like, you can hit Done in the top right, or if you haven't made any changes, you can hit Cancel in the top left. Now let's review that final option, the miscellaneous tab. When you open it up, there are four things that you can configure. We'll start at the top. Auto Connect tells the app how often you want it to try to establish a connection with the StayLink server when StayLink is pulled up on your device. I have it set to never here. That means that as long as StayLink is pulled up, you will manually have to establish that connection by pressing Host Connect. If you have it set to once, it means that when StayLink is first pulled up, it will try to establish that connection, but if you quit that session, from then on you'll have to do it manually. 
If you have it set to always, that means as long as stay linked is pulled up, it will persistently try to establish or reestablish a connection with your stay linked server. Now be forewarned, as long as the always option is enabled, you can get caught in a loop if it cannot fully establish a connection with the stay linked server. It will persistently try to establish a connection it can't finish. If you find yourself in that loop, when it enters mid connection between ending one session and trying to start another one, simply double tap the screen and it will bring you back to the Staylink splash screen. I'll set this to never for ease of use. Full screen is automatically enabled. That means it's going to use as much of the display area that it can on your device to show you the session screen. The extended keys are also enabled by default. Now the extended keys will paint a bunch of tappable keys along the bottom of the session screen that you normally wouldn't have access to on an iOS device, like the function keys. Also there's some stay linked functionality that you normally wouldn't have access to on an iOS device that is kept there as well. These are completely configurable and if you need more information on them, simply review the stay linked user guide. Text to speech is disabled by default, but if you want to turn that on, and connect to your Staylink server, if it's voice enabled, then the Staylink app will talk to you just like your other voice enabled devices. For now, I'll leave that off. Now that this is configured, I'll tap Done in the top right corner and Done along the bottom. And now Staylink is ready to establish its first connection. Simply tap Host, Connect, and it will take you to the Staylink server. We're at your service here at StayLinked, and if you need any help at all or have any questions about the StayLinked server components, the administrator, or any of our clients, please feel free to call us at 714-918-7817, or you can reach us by email at support at stay-linked.com.